click watch learn in this lesson you will learn how to do the following create a grade center column and delete a grade center column once you have logged into Blackboard Learn and navigated to the course of your choice, follow these step-by-step -step instructions to create a grade column. From the control panel, select Grade Center. From the expanded Grade Center menu, click Full Grade Center. In the Grade Center, click Create Column. Enter the information listed in the column information fields. The column name is required field. Grade center name is an optional field. The grade center name displays in place of the column name in the grade center. This is in the instructor view only. This can be used to create a condensed grade center name. Enter a description. The description field is also optional. From the primary display drop down menu, select a grade display format. This is a required field. Primary display is the preferred format for grades to be displayed. This is in the instructor view and the student view. If letter grade is chosen, edit the associated schema to align with the requirements of your course. This information is not visible in student view. Grades must be entered as numbers and Blackboard Learn changes the entry to match the preferred format. For more information about grading schemas, see Blackboard Learn 9.1 Creating and Editing Grading Schemas in the Digital Library. From the secondary display drop-down menu, select a grade display format. This field is optional. The secondary display appears in parentheses behind the primary display in the full grade center view only. From the category drop-down menu, select a category. This field is optional. Use categories to group items such as assignments, tests, or discussions. This is useful when using calculated columns to figure grades. Enter the number of points possible for the assignment. This is a required field. If this is an extra credit item, enter zero so students will not be docked points if it's incomplete. From the Add Rubric drop-down menu, select or create a rubric. This is an optional field. For more information, see Blackboard Learn 9.1 Attaching a Rubric to an Assignment and Blackboard Learn 9.1 Using Rubrics in the Digital Library. Enter the due date for the assignment. This field is optional. If you click the box, the assignment will be due on the day it was created. Enter the assignment in the preferred method month, month, day, day, year, year. Time can be entered in any increment. The due date populates the assignment to the course calendar and the notifications page. Select the options needed for the desired course view, then click Submit. When you create a new grade column, it is added at the end of the grade center. To delete a grade center column, click the drop down arrow on the grade column to be deleted. Grade columns created automatically for a graded assignment cannot be deleted until the assignment itself is removed from the course content. Deleting an assignment in the course content does not delete the grade column in the grade center. From this drop down menu, click Delete Column, then click OK. Understand that this action is final. Once you delete the grade column, you cannot recover it. The drop down menu on the grade column entry has several options. You can quick column information which will give you an overview of settings and information for the column. View grade history gives you grade information over time. Edit column information lets you modify previously chosen settings. Column statistics provide an overall view such as distribution of status, grades, average, mean, etc. Set as external grade. Faculty must manually enter final grades into My UCA. Show and hide to users. Make visible or invisible to students. Sort ascending. Sort lowest to highest value. Sort descending. Sort highest to lowest value. Hide column. Make invisible in instructor view. And then of course delete column. Please take a minute to provide feedback on this instruction. Send your comments and suggestions to idc at uca.edu. A step-by-step -step print copy tutorial of this instruction is available at www.uca.edu.